What's going on guys and welcome back to another episode of Career Mode. This is episode number 154 I do believe and today we do indeed have the Champions League quarterfinal first leg here away at the Hawthorns against our former club West Bromwich Albion. So yeah, it's going to be a very entertaining game. Uh, this episode is going to be a one game special and of course it will be a live highlights game as well. So I'm hopeful, I'm very very hopeful of making sure we can win on our return to the Hawthorns but of course it's not going to be easy. The frustrating thing is that my team isn't really fit for this game. Um, we rested the entire side in the last game but as you guys have seen we've had a really congested run of fixtures over the past week or so. So we're going to have to make a couple of changes. We're going to play Savanier ahead of Remy Cabea. So he can start and hold him in field position. I think he's probably best there, to be honest. And also, I don't know who else to change. I'm going to give Zlatan a start ahead of Gonzalo Higuain because Higuain is so inconsistent. And I feel as though Zlatan is going to be the big man for the big occasion like he was against Barcelona. Um, possibly David Luiz ahead of Laporte, although I think I'd probably rather have him for defensive cover as David Luiz is more of an attacking centre-back, could you call him that? I guess at a high, high attacking work rate you probably could. Yeah, let's go with that team. Uh, it's not fully fit, we'll probably have to make changes around the 50-60 minute mark, we'll have to wait and see what happens regardless. But uh, still, I'm not really sure what to expect coming into this game, you know, I, I feel as though... I feel as though West Brom will be the favourites, of course, because we are away from home and, you know, you'll see the team West Brom have in a minute. I mean, no matter what happens, I don't know what team they're going to pick exactly, but I'm sure it's going to be really, really strong and really, really, uh, really hard to stop offensively. It'll be a really good attacking lineup. But, you know, our team is, of course, absolutely fantastic as well. I'd imagine that we are two of, you know, probably three or four sides in Europe who we consider to be the best. I mean, I wouldn't say we are the best side in Europe, to be honest, right now. But West Brom certainly would definitely be up there. Whether we will be considered as one of the best in Europe, I'm not too sure yet. I think we need another season before we can start saying that. But we still have a really good side as well. So, yeah, I don't really know, to be honest. I don't really know how this game is going to go down. I mean, the other ties were in the quarterfinals. Real Madrid, Porto, Wolfsburg, Chelsea and Schalke versus Man City. Um, yeah, this is going to be a really... I mean, you know, when you look at a draw we could have had, you know, I much, much would have rather to uh, face Wolfsburg or Schalke compared to uh, West Bromwich Albion. But even so, that's nothing against those two teams. I just feel as though we'd probably have a better chance of going through. So coming into this game, I, I guess I'm just really sort of pessimistic, really. I just I really want to make sure it's a good game for you guys. Uh, but I'm also worried I'm probably going to lose the game like two goals to nil or something, which isn't going to be great. But we'll have to see what happens. It should be a good game anyway on our return to the Hawthorns. And obviously Niang and Savanier starting against their former clubs. Let's have a look at uh, West Brom's team. So Hearts in goal, back four of Jenkins and a right back. Uh, Zambrano, Sani, Rodriguez. 4-4-2 then. Pedro on the left, Carrillo on the right. Wilshere and Di Maria in the centre. And Rooney and Alcacer together. So <coughs> pretty Pretty good team. Uh, the 4-4-2 isn't my preferred formation on FIFA, and I never used it. Well, I did actually use it in the first couple of seasons with West Brom before changing it. But I don't think the 4-4-2 sort of suits those players. One of the reasons I changed the formation coming into this season was because I couldn't get the best team available. So maybe the 4-4-2 might be something to exploit with his team. But we'll have to wait and see. It's still a very good side regardless. No one's going to deny that. Definitely one of the strongest in Europe. But we come into this game. It's going to be a really interesting one. All I can say is that I'm really hopeful I make it entertaining for you guys. And um, you know the, the positive would be that we would leave West Brom with a win. And with a good couple of away goals under our belts. That will be the objective. Trying to score a couple of away goals. But even so, it's going to be a difficult game. It should be a fun one regardless though. Hopefully you enjoy it. It is going to be a live highlights game game and uh, yeah let's kick off here at the Hawthorns and he's hoping for a big win in a massive game and Lacazette will get us underway and find Gregory van der Veel and now Coulomb to Zlatan he's got Ibra running down the right hand side he roulettes around his man and gets past him way too easily crosses the ball into Lacazette in the centre oh my goodness what a start what a start a goal directly from kickoff we didn't give the ball away or anything, just simple passing. Niang put Rodriguez on the floor, perfect cross, and it was a goal made in West Brom and finished in Paris. Absolutely fantastic. Niang down the right-hand side, crossing the ball in, and Lacazette out-jumping Zambrano in the centre. Those two teammates used to be for West Bromwich Albion, now at PSG. They combine and get us the first goal of the game. Could not have got off to a perfect start, or more perfect start, I should say. West Brom nil, Paris Saint-Germain won. Assist through Niang, goal through Lacazette. Perfect start to the game. He's hoping for more of the same.
good ball out wide towards Korea. Good first touch as well to be Eden Hazard here. And that's uh, across the pitch to Pedro. Lovely ball that is to Pedro. Switching to play nicely. Cross comes in. Wayne Rooney's header off the bar. And Laporte will just get the ball away. Off the bar from Wayne Rooney and PS uh, sorry West Brom even. Almost hitting back with a goal just a few minutes after conceding the first. Rooney hitting the woodwork. This is going to be a frantic game. Still 1-0 though. Cross comes in. And in the centre, Alcacer puts it wide. And it's behind for a corner. What a start to this game here at the Hawthorns. And we've got a man injured, haven't we? And Lucas Digne, the left back, is on off the pitch now. So that's a bit of a shame. Uh, losing a player for this corner, but Laporte will head the ball away regardless. Hopefully that's Digne's game not over, because our options at left back actually aren't that great. I mean, Savania, I'm playing there a little bit, but Digne, I could really do a Digne getting up, and I don't think he's going to. Jenkinson's ball inside. Rooney's header. And Coulomb will let it go. No, Coulomb. I think that took a deflection anyway. And Digne's off. Wow. Worst. <laughs> best possible start and worst possible start. So I'm going to play Sylvania at centre back. Uh, sorry, left back even. And I'm going to bring on. I want to bring on Cabea, but I think I'll bring on Verratti instead. So, oh god, that is just typical. Absolutely typical that Digne gets an injury. Dear oh dear. Still, what a start to this game. And uh, it's just absolutely crazy. The amount of things that have happened in 10 minutes. A goal, the ball hitting the woodwork, and an injury to our left back as well. Still corner to uh, West Bromwich Albion here. And uh, Andre Carrillo is going to take it. And the Peruvian is going to cross the ball in. Lloris comes. Doesn't really meet it. But Thiago Silva. Oh my goodness. I don't believe this. I do not believe this. Absolutely crazy start. And West Bromwich Albion have won themselves a penalty in the 11th minute. And is it a penalty? I don't know, I mean, you can probably make a claim for it. I don't think Thiago Silva was trying to bundle Rooney over. He was just going for the ball, but I guess you can make a claim for a penalty being given. So I guess you'll call it a fair decision regardless. So West Brom have a penalty, and it is a great chance for them to equalise here on the night. Rooney against Hugo Bruce Grobelar Lloris. What's he going to do? Rooney saved Lloris, saves the tips up in the air, and catches the rebound. Hugo Lloris for the second time pulls off a penalty save this season and it's still 1-0. What a start to this game. Absolutely crazy. And it is still 1-0. What a save by Lloris. Not the best penalty Wayne Rooney will take, but even so, what a start. This has been absolutely awesome. Verratti, what a ball to Lacazette as well. Di Maria can get outpaced by Lacazette. He could be in if he cuts inside with a burble spin. And he has Lacazette down this right-hand side. Going to try and catch Joe Hart in the near post. And he makes the save. And it's cleared away. This is crazy. I'm trying to type down on my uh, right down on my computer what minutes I need to look for. I might as well just put look through the whole game. This is crazy. How's our cross the ball in? Savania goes for the header. Cleared away. And maybe I'll get some breathing space in a minute because this has just been absolutely crazy. As Laporta gets tackled. Now Thiago Silva. We're going to go from goal from range there. Silva goes for goal. Joe Hart saves it. And now I feel like I could be able to get a bit of breathing time because Hart has uh, controlled the ball, kicks it forward, and it's still West Brom nil PSG 1 in an absolutely awesome start to this game. Laporte's challenge. Di Maria, great ball by Di Maria into Pedro. Pedro shoots, Lloris saves, and it's cleared away. Another good save by Lloris, and we get the ball away there. Great challenge by Silva. Zlatan onside. Can he get there ahead of Joe Hart? No, he can't. Oh, oh, Hart's missed it. And Zlatan has scored. And it's West Brom nil, PSG 2. And Joe Hart, the ever-reliable Joe Hart for me, has just made a howler for the AI. Oh, my goodness. Is that the luckiest goal I'll ever score in FIFA? I'm pretty sure it is. And Zlatan was celebrating before the ball went in. Did he mean to do that? I highly doubt it. But it's West Brom nil, PSG 2, and Joe Hart, oh my goodness, how on earth did he let that ball squirm under his body? That is Massimo Taibbi-esque, I mean not the same, but still, that is absolutely crazy. Shocking goalkeeping, no wonder camera pans to him, he can't believe it. And Zlatan scores one of the most fortunate goals he'll ever score. West Brom nil, Paris Saint-Germain 2. Alcacer. Wilshire had space to shoot and a good chance there, but he goes begging and it is still 2 0. Corner to West Brom here and Angel Di Maria is going to take it and the Argentine drills it in and West Brom and Jalbina scored and what a corner! 
through Angel Di Marie. You don't say that very often, do you? What a corner. But that's exactly what it is. Fantastic delivery from Di Maria. And Paco Elcacer dives into the near post and half volleys it in. It's, it's really crazy to have a half volley when the ball was span across the ground. But uh, I think you probably point fingers at the man on the line there, Verratti, for being a bit weak. He seems to shy away from it, but that man's a pretty relieved. West Brom 1, PSG 2, and uh, that is a, a bizarre corner goal, but um, they all count, and that was a pretty good set-piece routine. 2-1, West Brom back in the game and back in the tie. And that's the half. So, half-time here at the Hawthorns. West Brom with Albion 1, Paris Saint-Germain 2. So... One goal advantage going into the break, and what a game it's been. One of the best career mode halves I'll ever play. So much action, so much surprise, and we're only 45 minutes of the way through, so more of the same in the second half, please. What a fantastic first half that was. The only negative, really, is Digne going off injured. That's a real shame, because our left-back options aren't the best here at PSG. Um, but regardless, still a great first half. Hoping for more in the second half, and... Um, yeah, you guys certainly are getting entertained in this game. This has been a fantastic match. Wilshire. That's a great ball by Jack Wilshire to Alcacer. Now Di Maria. And Alcacer to Angel Di Maria. Now Pedro. Good build up by West Brom, but Lloris makes the save at his near post. Now Pedro. And the Spaniard goes down the left hand side. Crosses the ball to the far post. Paco Alcacer. Rooney. Lloris with a save and cleared away. What a great save by uh, Lloris there again. I need to put a final side really quickly. What a fantastic save by Hugo Lloris. And it's still 2-1. Dear, oh dear. That goalkeeper has been an inspired form. And we still have the lead in this game. Here's a free kick to West Bromwich Albion in a dangerous area. Wayne Rooney is standing over it. And we've got a three-man wall. Don't think he's going for goal though. And he isn't. And Andy Carroll has just come off the bench. Almost made it 2-2. Great chance for Big Andy, and usually finishes those. Thankfully not on this occasion, still 2-1. Wilshire for West Bromwich Albion, still trailing by two goals to one. Jack Wilshire plays it backwards towards Theo Walcott here, also off the bench. Walcott to Ricardo Rodriguez, and the left back retains possession here, gets into the area, gets taken down, good save. It's come to the far post, and Andy Carroll has turned it in. And for what he did for me for so many games... He does against me in this one. Andy Carroll comes off the bench and scores. I said it many times managing West Brom. And now I'm saying it against West Brom. Lloris making another fantastic save. But there's nothing you can do about the rebound. Andy Carroll with a tap in on his weaker right foot. Open goal. Could not miss. Doesn't miss. West Brom 2, PSG 2. They've come from two goals down to equalise here at the Hawthorns. I've thrown it away really in all honesty. And unfortunately for us, we have just been terrible in the second half. It's a great ball out wide towards Carl Jenkinson and Cater cuts it out. But I'm giving it straight away to Carl Jenkinson here. It's a good block. And Laporte gets it away. Ibra. Lacazette, that's lovely. That's really nice. Getting out of a dangerous area there with some nice passing. Ibra, oh, that's really well done. He's got a man on the overlap, and it's Mbai Niang. And it's Niang, and it's Niang, and it's 3-2. And it's Mbai Niang. It just had to be Mbai Niang scoring what could be the winner against his former club, the club that essentially made him into the player he is. It just had to be, didn't it? I mean, it's just, it's so obvious. Who else but Mbai Niang is going to win us this game and possibly end up winning the tie? 3-2 West Bromwich Albion. Uh, sorry, 3-2 PSG even. <laughs> Keep forgetting what team I'm managing. 3-2 PSG. And uh, we may have surrendered a two-goal lead, but we're back in front, courtesy of that man. 3-2 Paris Saint-Germain. And we are absolutely delighted about it. This has been this has been one tie out of two in this Champions League quarter final. I mean, <laughs> to think we have another 90 minutes to come in France. This is absolutely crazy. What a superb game. And a good chance here to make it 4-2, but the ball is cut out by Sano. Wilshire. Rooney. Carroll. Ball inside and Laporte will cut it out. And Lloris, whoa, that is a really poor pass by Lloris. And it's, oh my goodness, how is that not a free free? How on earth did a player of Di Maria's class miss that? 
What a let off. What a let off. Last chance. Last chance. They need to get the ball in the box here. Jack Wilshere, Henderson. They can't dilly dally around with it. They need to get the ball in the box. Theo Walcott. Time should be up by now. Cross comes in. Pedro. Oh, what a save. Hugo Lloris. Huge save from Hugo. And he keeps the score at 3 2. Uh, Joe Hart staying back for this corner. Walcott with the cross. He's, he's played outside the box. And Eber wins the header. And Niang flicks it to Keita. And, oh wow, Keita just <laughs> lost possession of the ball. It's not going to matter because the game does finish there. And it is full time here at the Hawthorns. And it finishes West Bromwich Albion 2, Paris Saint Germain 3. In one of the best career mode games I have played. Absolutely superb. And the fact we played a former club for the first time away at their ground as well. Just made it even more special. What a fantastic game. And I know for sure that you guys must have been absolutely delighted to get a treat like that for a game to watch. And, you know, the fact of the matter is we won this game very fortunately. PSG, I mean, sorry, West Brom. I keep forgetting the team I'm managing. West Bromwich Albion missed a penalty. Lloris made the save. Uh, they hit the bar as well. We hit the bar too. We also scored a really fluky goal for Ibra. And at the end of the day, let's just say we got away with that one. But still, we did win the game. Uh, Lucas Dinier is going to be out for four weeks. That's a bit of a shame. We did win the game regardless. And the second leg away at Parc des Princes, that is going to be absolutely fantastic. So looking forward to that. And hopefully you guys are going to be as well. So going to win the episode there. So as always, guys, a big thank you for watching the video. I really do hope you have enjoyed it. If you have enjoyed today's episode of Career Mode, then please do leave a like as it is much appreciated. And it really does help my channel out. I'll see you for the next episode of Career Mode very soon where we will have that reverse leg away against West Bromwich Albion at Partners Prance and hopefully you'll enjoy that video uh, we also have the game against Lorient as well but that should be quite quick and uh, we'll have the West Brom game as well the second leg should be good fun and I'll see you for that episode very very soon